Is Kasia bottom five? Um, there's a lot of uh, Kasia top players right now and streamers saying that Kasia is worthless and that he is uh, shit tier. I just uh, I don't agree. But I think the half the reason they say this is because they feel everyone is so overtuned in this game, like how everyone is broken but Kazuya isn't. And it's true, Kazuya is not Devil Jin in this game. Uh, he might not be Dragonov, but he, he's a competitive character and he's strong and solid, so I just... Uh, yeah, it, it, from my point of view, yeah, he's not June, right? His his wife, with the boobies and the perky ass. Well, he's got a pretty perky ass, but he he is strong. I just I just don't buy into the idea that he is uh, he's weak. I don't even understand where the, this is coming from. We talked a little bit about this yesterday, but let's do a recap. Maybe we can post one to YouTube as well. But. Uh, but Tekken 7 Kazuya sort of remains, minus Stomback 2, right? But the stuff they added for Tekken 8, like, your life is so much easier playing Kazuya. Like, uh, let, let's just get to the basic stuff, right? Electric is still arguably the best attack in the game. I mean, if it's not the best attack, it's way up there. Like, Electric is very strong, and Kazuya still has decent movement, right? Uh, his son, normal Jin, so not Devil Jin, Jin has crap movement, which is a problem. Devil Jin has better movement than Jin. Uh, electric strong, decent movement, very good. Ford Ford Free is still insanely strong. Like, th this move... You know, it launches a normal hit, it's uh, minus 3 on block, we can do it from wave dash. This remains an incredible attack. Mix that with hell sweep. Uh, it does give recoverable health now, but the thing with hell sweep is that it just perfectly sets up Kalsia's Oki. And the steel pedal, in my opinion, remains the best Oki attack in the game. I don't know what Oki attack is stronger than Steel Pedal. Uh, so that stuff is still there. It's very strong. Um, down for 2, forward 4, Flash Punch, incredible 10 frames, still jails on block, hit confirmable. But so then let's get to the really nice stuff. So everyone is saying, oh he's still playing Tekken 7 and everyone else is playing Tekken 8, right? Well, De Devil Fist is pretty strong, right? I mean, Kazuya players complaining, like, you know, th this attack, it's like... It's a demon paw on steroids. Yeah, you know against Jin, Devil Jin, if they try and demon paw you, you can, you can sort of lazily almost step to the right to beat it. This Devil Fist not only has more range than demon paw, I mean, look at the range if I crouch dash into it. Not only more range, but uh, it tracks really well to both sides. So unless we do a perfect sidestep, uh, you know, we time it perfectly when, when you press, we're gonna get clipped. Like, Devil Fist gives Kazuya a neutral control and a neutral option he's never had before. And best of all, it's safe on block. Like, how is this bad? And then everyone keeps saying, oh, Devil Kazuya is so weak. And oh, he might not be as strong as certain other characters' heat options, but how is he weak? Double, this, this is legit. When he's in heat, it is exactly double damage on Demon Paul. Double damage. And it doesn't even eat that much heat doing this. Doesn't even eat up that much heat. Can use this pretty much as much as you want. And then if you want to, if you're running out of heat, we go for proper launcher, right? Go for that. 
Or, you know, as any heat dash, you get plus five into frames. That's a super strong heat attack. And then, of course, you're gonna mix that with uh, the Heaven's Gate Hell Sweep, which does 40, 45, 46, but this would counter hit. That does 46. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Uh, this also sets up his uh, improved Oki Laser, down back one plus two. That one. Which is very strong. That's a really good move. Um, and you can cancel this to get kind of perfect Oki. Uh, Shikue is a really strong defensive option. It's really good to throw out if you feel threatened. Uh, Heat Smash is a long range Hell Sweep style attack. That does 43, breaks walls. The great thing about this option is that it's much safer than a Hell Sweep. This is only minus 14. Typically a Hell Sweep is minus 23, right? So we don't get launched for this one, right? Unless you play against Brian, you know, that type of character with a 14, or Paul, 14 frame launchers. Um, it also tracks much more than a normal Hell Sweep and has more range. So this is not a bad Heat Smash at all. It actually complements his moveset really well. So if you're running out of heat energy, you'll mix either that one or the heat smash, right? This is strong. But it is true true also that as some as I've pointed out a hundred times that Devil Stomp, I see no use for this. Devil Twister is super cool, and you'll use this to whiff punish from a sidestep, right? But it eats up a lot of heat energy, and it's still launch punishable on block. At minus 15. The Devil Twister, it's like, eh, it's pretty niche use. You can block a Snake Edge and Crouch Cancel Devil Twister if you want, but it's true that that's not a very good attack. But I would say Devil Cassia is reasonably strong. He's not weak, he's not shit here. Um... And then more stuff we got in Tekken 8, which is super nice with Kazuya. Fujin Uraken was reinstated. So it has its counter it property back. This does a lot of damage. And it's still safe on block. Gives a very juicy plus 8 on normal hit. Uh, downford 1, downford 2 is a completely safe mid-mid for Kazuya. Mid-mid safe. Can set up a punch parry here. Having a Pudge Parry is very, very nice. And this one actually has pretty generous frames. And will Wall Splat. That's pretty nice. Back 2-2 two two is a mid-mid string. At minus 10, but they still have to be afraid of a follow-up laser. This is very nice. If you want to, can mix with back 2-4. <clears throat> oh, and oh, Kazuya is so bad, right? What is this string? Boop, boop. Start, 12 frames start up, high mid, safe on block, minus 8. Completely safe. Not unnatural, because it's not a punish anymore. But if I press into this, blap, blap, guaranteed 38. 38. And I'm plus 7 now. If I press into the second hit, that happens. That happens. This, this is super strong. He's never had anything like that before. Oh, and then, oh, in terms of shit tier Kazuya, this low is broken. In my opinion, like, I'm, I'm not going to underplay my own character. Like, th this low, I think, is broken. Not only does it synergize well with his uh, ground game setup Oki personality, like, it hits grounded. It hits grounded. It's super evasive. He needs panic buttons, right? It's super evasive. He's got decent reach. Does 20 damage, which is great in its own, and gives me plus 3, right? It's only minus 14 on block, not launch punishable. And it's a counter hit launcher for gigantic damage where we can even bound the opponent. Like, in my opinion, Batlow is OP. It does way too much, and it's not even launch punishable. 
It's it's like uh, Heihachi's down back two on 50 pounds of steroids. This move is insane. Um, and then uh, the the mask attack I discovered, Fort Fort Tech. You know how strong this is, and how how much it adds to your uh, your combo damage. I mean, it's suddenly ev everyone eats this, by the way, because it's such a knowledge check, right? Masku tech, super strong. Suddenly, from an electric, you're looking at half their health bar being melted away into the best Oki situation Kazuya has, which is post uh, steel pedal hit. I mean, ha half their health bar is gone into your best Oki situation. And, and pretty much no one beats this because it's so counterintuitive. When we're getting juggled, we're either mashing tech roll or we're holding back to stand back up again. To beat this tech to block that steel pedal, you have to hold up to do a quick stand. No one does this. Even the high level players I go against, they don't do that. So pretty much a guaranteed steel pedal. And if they do hold up to, to do a quick stand, if you know we're going to do this, you can hell sweep them. This, this is the best 50-50 situation Kazuya has. And when you're a 50-50 character, you're going to want to go for that, right? So, uh, but I, I, I also thought his combo sucked, you know, until I labbed the shit out of this character in the demo. And then I realized... His combos are not inconsistent or bad, it's just that they don't want you to do the Tekken 7 combos. The reason they nerfed the downward one hitbox, this one, is because they want you to do the free one cancel. Suddenly you get insane wall travel and great consistency. But again, it's tough to do. Rewards execution, but that's the name of the game with that guy, right? That's the name of the game. Um, oh, and also like, oh, Kazuya is so weak. Devil Kazuya is so weak. Uh, you've probably seen me. I need walls now, but you've probably seen uh, like Kazuya's Oki in this game is is crazy. And it's not only the Masku Ford for tech. It's like this. Uh, the Devil Kazuya attack. So here, we'll plant them on the wall. You've probably seen me do this a few times. Here, boom. You do this. Post Heaven's Gate at the wall. If we don't stay perfectly still uh, on the ground afterwards, down back 1-2 connects. How is this weak? So... We realized more and more, well, I realized, <laughs> down back 1-2, you know how he slams the ground here? You see him slamming the ground, right? This is an Oki attack. Kalsia is an Oki character. This is meant to offer, this is an OTG. This is not only a 13 frame heat engager punish and your easy option from down for two abolishing fist right Th this is an a straight up otg right so again here You know how many rounds I've won just doing a combo into that and then they stumble back up helplessly to their feet and it, the round's pretty much over? You know. Um, and then he remains a strong Punisher. Twin Piston is still very strong. Uh, that's a 13 frame while standing, still super good. Um... Yeah, it's like, Kazuya has some disgusting stuff. This is pretty hard to do. But this is guaranteed. Yeah. It's, it, you have, oh god. 
Yeah, don't go for it, but you, you can't do this. It's guaranteed. But it's so fucking hard. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, that's true, you can do this. But that's not guaranteed. Only if they move. Maestro, it is guaranteed, but it's super hard. Or is it character specific? Guaranteed you can't do it. No, I, it dip. Oh, there we go. It depends a little bit on the character, I think. Yeah, stick to this. Uh, but so yeah, I this turned into a recording here. Um, but I hope you understand, everyone, that Kazuya is not weak. He's significantly stronger than he was in uh, in Tekken Eight, uh, Seven, I mean. And he has some options now which he didn't before. Like before, you were always stuck doing Ford for Free Electric Hell Sweep. But now you can actually do this. You can do this. You can do this. I didn't even mention down for free to one charge up. This this string is this string went from super niche to super strong. Super strong. Also helps that they made uh, yeah this this string is super strong. Super strong. Uh, and they also made it so you do uh, gates of hell throw from full crouch just uh, down back one plus two. That certainly helps. Can do cancels like this now. Something like that. Can do this. It's really cool. This. So, uh, yeah, again, I'm just trying to say Kazi is not Devil Jin or Dragunov, but saying he's weak is, is a bit stupid, in my opinion. He's not a weak character. He's, he's significantly stronger than in 7, and, uh... Yeah, I think there's been a little bit too much bitching and whining about his, uh, his strength level lately. So, I think he does fine. Can Kazuya still win in rank? Of course he can, you just have to play extremely well. He's super difficult! Don't get me wrong, he still remains arguably the hardest character in the game, but he's not weak. 